What's up you guys, it's Hayden, and today's video topic is common misconceptions about trans people. I actually had to reach out to some people to get some ideas for video topics because I was having a really hard time bringing myself to, to make a video. And it's not that I don't want to make videos. I enjoy making videos. I was having a difficult time making them because the world is so noisy right now. And then if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, it's just there's a lot going on. And I've been having a really difficult time being optimistic and positive about the current state of America. And that's unlike me. That's not like me because usually I am very positive and I'm always looking towards the brighter side of things. So I had to take some time to myself and, and step back and reflect on what is important in my life. But don't worry, I'm not done making videos. So uh, kudos to the person who gave me this idea for a video topic because I was really struggling there. Um, and I think it's a really great one. I think talking about common misconceptions among the trans community is a really important thing to talk about. So we're gonna dive right into it. I made a little list of um, my thoughts on uh, what some common misconceptions are about trans people. And I do wanna say that this is my own personal views and thoughts on this topic. I don't speak for the entire trans community. All of our experiences are widely different and some alike, but we're, we're people, we're unique, so. One common misconception that some people have about trans people and I came across this early on in my transition, I mean, even pre-T. But people would assume that I was just like this ultra butch and that I was like super gay. So gay to the point that I ended up being trans. And I, I don't mean to laugh when I say that out loud because some people actually think that. Um, but it's it's not true. All I can picture is me wearing a cape that says super gay on it. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna say about this entire uh, common misconception is that gender and sexuality are two separate things. And yeah, there may be a trans person who does identify as gay, but it's not the type of gay that these people are referring to. Let's say there could be a trans woman, she identifies as a woman because that's who she is, and she is also attracted to women. So she is dating a, another woman. So therefore, she would most likely identify as a lesbian. You know, um, side note, there's these semis that keep driving by because I live by a factory, so it gets really loud and then I have to stop and I get frustrated. But there's um, this older man out there and he waves to every single semi that comes by. It's the best. <laughs> okay, but anyways, gender and sexuality are two separate things and a lot of times people clump them together because, I mean, it is the LGBTQIA plus community. But it's really important to be aware that they are two separate things. And the fact that being gay does not turn people into trans people. It's just not true. Another common misconception about trans people is that they are not a real man or woman. And I hate saying that out loud because it's insulting on so many levels, but it is true. There are people out there that have the mindset that I am not a real man. And that has been really relevant from the very beginning of my transition, and that was when it was at its worst. But even at this point now in my transition, I have interacted primarily with cis men, and they are saying that I am not a real man. And sometimes they're, they're saying it not even knowing that they're saying it, but um, you know, they're trying to like relate to me like, well, hey, I'm a real guy and I like that too. But then there are people that do have the mindset that gender is the same as sex and that's not true. There's, there's facts to back that up, but gender is in your brain. 
It's what you identify as. Gender is a social construct. It's as simple as that. Whereas sex is what you're assigned to at birth. So yeah, I am trans, but that does not mean that I am any less of a man compared to a cis man. I am male. And then for, you know, all the haters that are gonna hate, and this kind of hits close to home because I have uh, some people that I'm very close with and protective of, and they're dealing with not so great situations <laughs> when it comes to talking about trans people being mentally ill. A lot of times people have this idea that something had to have happened to you to, to make you trans. And it's the same people that have this misconception that trans people are mentally ill or that uh, something traumatic happened to them. They, they look at numbers and facts and how there's a higher risk of suicide. 41% of trans people have attempted suicide and there's a higher risk of trans people having depression and anxiety. But there's a reason for all of that when you actually look at the reports that have been done. And I would really encourage you all to go take a look at the National Transgender Discrimination Survey that is done because that's where the numbers and facts are coming from. And see, the real thing here is the people with that type of mindset, they really have to take a step back and try to put themselves in the trans person's shoes try to understand what a trans person is going through on a day-to-day -day basis but then on top of that they might be facing rejection from their family from their loved ones they might be facing rejection from their employment from where they live to their their schooling everything the world is a cruel place for a lot of trans people, especially in America right now. So I mean, I would really encourage the people that have that type of mindset to really take a step back and look at their own actions and what they're doing because it's most likely playing into these higher rates of depression, anxiety, and suicidal tendencies because when people don't have support and love in their life and when they're facing um, such hate in the world and they're already dealing with their own gender identity and, and all of this shit, yeah, they're gonna be struggling. So what can you do as a person to help that person in their struggle? Be an advocate, be an ally, go educate yourself and do something good. <laughs> that was a little bit of a rant, but um, the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is the common misconception that you have to look a certain way in order to be recognized and taken seriously as a real man or woman. And I'm honestly just tiptoeing around the term of passing because I hate using that term. And for those of you who don't know what passing is, basically passing is when a trans person can go out into the world and live their correct gender identity and the world recognizes it and sees it. So society sees me as 100% male and I am a passing cis male, but I'm not cis at all. And I know I've talked about it before on my channel why I think it's problematic, but it really is an issue to have this type of mindset about trans people because you have to take into account all the people that do not have access to hormones to all the people that don't have health insurance they don't have money they don't have housing they don't have supportive parents and they they can't transition and then there are some people that don't even want to medically transition for a number of reasons the moral of the story is not every single trans person is the the same person, you know? We don't all have the same life experiences. There may be similarities, but we're all different and we each have a brain and a soul to, to make choices for ourselves. So, um, yeah, basically just don't assume that every trans person wants to be on hormones and, and wants to have surgery and, and all of that because it's just not right to assume that to begin with. All right though, I think that's all I got. 
to say about common misconceptions about trans people and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I will do a video soon. Um, I, I do have a few videos that I, I want to do but they inquire money and uh, a lot of time management and so I'm, I'm trying to figure out my life. <laughs> basically what I'm saying but um, stay tuned I will do a video soon and if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for videos please please let me know um, I think I would be more inspired to continue making videos knowing that uh, people had had topics they wanted me to address but thank you all so much for watching and if you like the video feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it subscribe to my channel and thank you and hello to all my new subscribers i'm really surprised people are still subscribing because i'm not actively uploading videos but thank you but anyways i will do a video soon but until then i hope you all have a safe and wonderful few days ahead all right thanks guys bye